today. From Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. This is the National Football League. see Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals taking on Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns. With the Ohio River and the hills of Kentucky just to our right, we welcome you into Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati, Ohio. The enthusiasm of this Cincinnati crowd in full effect a moment ago as their Bengals took the field to the delight of this sold-out crowd. And they're all set as they'll match up with the Cleveland Browns. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. First carry here for Joe Mixon. And he'll hope that this is not a sign of what's in store as he has to fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Tackle made there by Miles Garrett. Second and ten. That is a defensive end getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just hit. It got his man complete. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. A.J. Green, 75 yards. And the Bengals are going to take a first quarter lead. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. for the first time with Kareem Hunt. And yeah, they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A big pickup of 38. One thing that's great about watching him run, Charles, he doesn't hesitate. He got to the left side of his own line and just went. So there's two ways to look at that. One, just absolutely unconcerned, just takes off and goes. But more the latter, I think, which is he has absolute confidence in the guys in front of him, the guys doing the blocking for him. He just takes it and goes with abandon. On first down, they go right back to Hunt. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. This a second and seven from the 37. A three-yard pickup brings up second and From the gun, Mayfield. That is caught at the seven. And all the way in, touchdown, Cleveland. Rashard Higgins, 37 yards. And the Browns are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Well, go ahead and strap in, partner. I mean, <laughs> less than two minutes in, had the score on the one side. A quick answer, though, to get the equalizer. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up, right? When you give up an early touchdown, like... Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And some space here. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. 
You know, I have a pretty good friend, Charles Davis, who tells me that when he sees plays like that, strong runs to the right, reminds him of the 1960s Green Bay Packers. Boy, those were the days back when the fullback actually carried the ball as well as blocked. Then you had a halfback. You had pulling guards, guys who could get out and run. And you can hear the great coach saying it back then. So we get a seal here and a seal here, and we run this play right in the alley. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. I know this made me jump in the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. Mixon with a first down carry. Mixon hit, and all the ball is out. And this is picked up by the Browns. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Kareem Hunt, the ball. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and Out of the gun, they run it with Hunt. Seven-yard line. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Boy, some big runs here, Charles, already in this first quarter. Yeah, the lanes are there. Go ahead and exploit them. But what I like the most, how decisive he is, putting his foot in the ground and going. Mayfield able to find Hunt out of the backfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 more yards there and another first down. First down. They go play action. Mayfield. And he's got his man on the crossing route. That's Landry. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. And they'll get this down to the 10. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And there's a good catch by Odell Beckham Jr. And in 2019, even though it was one of the least productive seasons of his career, he was still a 1,000-yard receiver for the fifth time. Also caught the longest reception of his career as well. An 89-yard touchdown against the Jets on a Monday night. Explosive is Odell Beckham Jr. A gain of three, second down. Second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get... And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Mayfield finding Odell Beckham with a touchdown pass. And the Browns have taken the lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly. The route... They'll start here with a give to Mixon. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Olivier Vernon brings him down. He's already put it on the ground once in this first half. There are no gain, just struggling to get going. Yeah, and what he needs right now, a dose of confidence, which means his guys have to chop a hole, a big one for him, give him a chance to run a little bit, and gain some of that confidence back. He didn't get it on that carry. They decided to take a shot and right down the middle of the field. And really, they didn't give it as much time to develop, did they? They want to take that shot somewhere around the 15-yard mark. And the defense able to recover, bat it free. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Boyd. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. Uh, it is a good time to be a Cleveland Browns fan on a streak right now, winning four in a row. Last time Cleveland was 4-1, by the way, 1994. 
And the offense, they have scored at least 30 points in all four victories this last week, taking care of Indianapolis CD. And also, the defense has forced a ton of turnovers this season as well, so they're doing it on both sides. They certainly are. Miles Garrett, their star defensive edge, who got the big contract, he is more than playing up to that right now. What a role he's been on. Six sacks in the first five games, second in sacks right now in the NFL, and even better, oftentimes it's not just a sack, but a strip sack takes the ball away from the other team. This Cleveland team, you better bring your game if you're going to deal with the Browns right now. Two divisional road games coming up now. Real big test week six when they visit Pittsburgh. And then it's on to Cincinnati. 23 yards, the final tally. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 32-yard line. And he stopped immediately there. The ball carrier. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10 at the 31-yard line. Mayfield now on second down. Gets this to Kareem Hunt, his running back. Give him seven on the play, and they're going to have a third down. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Josh Bynes with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done? Again with a run by Mixon. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Joe Mixon, the ball carrier. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. On the screen, Bernard. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. That's a nice clip and save sequence there defensively because they did everything as they would have wanted to. They forced the third down, blanketed the field with coverage, nowhere to go with the football, forced the dump off to the back, and even then, they closed quickly and got it down behind the line of scrimmage. The Browns drive about to get started. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. On first and 10, Mayfield looking left side. That's caught by Landry. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. 32-yard line. Mayfield gives this one to Hunt. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Face mask. Defense. We can't have that. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. Now Hunt. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Big Geno Atkins there to bring him down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. To throw on second and six, Mayfield, his pass caught at the four. A gain of four last play, they double that here and get eight. There's Jarvis Landry with a nice reception and pickup there, and when you say Pro Bowl, you better think Jarvis Landry. He's been selected to it every year since 2015. The only season he's missed is rookie year, and he is durable and tough. We talk about that all the time. How about this for an example? Hasn't missed a game in his first six seasons and was a 1,000-yard receiver for the third time in 2019. 
Second and goal from the six this time. They'll run it here with Hunt. And flags come in as he gets forward for about three yards. Now let's check on the call. Offense. Come on, now. He was trying to clear the way, the big fullback. Instead, he gets a hole. And you don't see that very often on running plays from those guys because usually they're the lead blocker. Normally, when he gets caught, it's in a passing situation. Second down, Mayfield. Being chased out left. He's going to take off with it and wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. Eluding the pressure right. This will be caught at about the five. And they're going to stop him here short of the goal line with the flag down. Well, this could set up a very interesting decision. We knew he was close. You got it. You got it. Now Burrow on first down, escaping the pressure right. That's caught by the tight end, Drew Sample. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, Go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Back to Mixon on first down. Well, a pretty move couldn't create much space. Down just beyond the 35. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Brings up second and eight at the 37-yard line. Now Burrow to throw on second down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 41. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's green. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Three. The throw over the middle taken in. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First and 10 at the 25-yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one in second down. It's now An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Again, it's Burrow. That's complete to the tight end sample. And down inside the 15 he goes. 12 yards there and a first down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. First and 10 at the 14. Now a first carry for Giovanni Bernard. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Two yards on the Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Rolling to his right. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. It was Miles Garrett that time who got in there and brought him down. There's Miles Garrett forcing another offensive lineman to yell, look out to his quarterback as he ends up putting him on the deck. 30 and a half sacks in his first three seasons. Easily one of the best three down defensive ends in the NFL. And they will get to him at the seven and stop him short of the first down marker. 
Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with a football. The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And this Browns defense stands tall. A first down throw for Mayfield. Over the middle to Beckham. He's at the 50. And he takes it all the way down to the 32. A big play there on the catch and run. 62 yards. So how about this for a change in field position from inside the 10. Here's first down on the other side of the field. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. And the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it up field, and that brings up second down. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Carlos Dunlap, the Florida Gator, chopping his way to the quarterback. And that's something that he does consistently. Puts quarterbacks on the ground. And Carlos Dunlap, maybe not a household name around the NFL, but everyone knows he comes to play each and every year. He hasn't had less than seven and a half sacks since 2012 and nine in 2019. They will throw on first down with Burrow. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. He's going to air it out deep for Green. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in. For a Cincinnati score. A.J. Green in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bengals. down Mayfield and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight second and two it's a gain of eight you can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there it looks like a simple pitch and catch but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38 yard line a gain of five so here's a first and ten at the 38 Mayfield to throw it. This pass complete to Higgins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good play there as the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 46. On the run, this is Hunt. He'll get only a couple down to the 44. Kareem Hunt, the Cleveland ball. Well, certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Well, a good chance this is four down territory if they're not able to convert, but right now looking at a third and three. Open man is Higgins. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. 90 yards receiving now for him in the ball game. It's a first down. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Caught left side, it's Beckham. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. 
It's a game timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First down. Mayfield on first down. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. And this has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. From the gun, Mayfield. And he completes it to Hunt. Mayfield's pass. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes it gets that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. What a nice one. And they're going to get him. He sagged back around the 28. Carl Lawson with a little... And they go play action now. Burrow forced out to his left. And a scary incompletion almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. It's now second and 10. At the Again, it's Burrow on second and 10. Now they go screen. It's complete. Nine yards, and that leaves them just short. So it'll be third and less than a yard. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. They'll try and run with Mixon. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there. But they do convert on fourth. On the run, it's Mixon. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. Miles <laughs> Garrett. I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage we've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there Play to aj green that's a gain of six brings up third and one they give to mixon to try to pick it up and he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47 they needed a yard they got it first down a couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Burrow's throw going to be caught by Boyd. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A Bengal first down on the 16-yard pickup there. Nice job there by Tyler Boyd finishing off the connection on the throw. Over 1,000 yards receiving each of the last two seasons with 90 catches in 2019 was thought to be a complimentary receiver, but with A.J. Green out much of the time, he became a reliable and consistent target. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. No gain. So second and 10, third quarter. Thanks for tagging along with us here from the Queen City of Cincinnati. Green with a catch left side. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this one. He's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. First and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this foot. And he's going to be dropped. 
Back at the 15-yard line. Miles Garrett able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. That's his second sack of the game in the best defensive ends. They do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. On second down, Burrow. This will be caught just inside the 10. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Third and goal, Burrow on the screen, Bernard. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. Back now in Cincinnati. It's the Bengals, they've got the... To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Ball carrier. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Hunt. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Mayfield from the gun on third down. He'll get this one underneath to Hunt. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here's Jamie Gillen now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Now a high kick, almost a pooch punt. It'll be just an 18-yard punt, and the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news, but this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Green once again the intended receiver. And it's second down. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And he whips that one incomplete there. And the Bengals on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and ten. He's got his man here. It's Green. And he's got this down to the 35. That'll put him right on the doorstep of a 200-yard game. He's at 199 as he picks up the first. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Well, he challenged the play. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Olivier Vernon just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. This one hauled in by Sample. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. That was impressive to me because while it was a pass play, they still rallied to the football like they were filling running lanes and they were able to put the receiver on the ground. 
And the Bengals on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and 17. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Incomplete. I'll tell you what, part. On first and 10, Mayfield. That one is caught by Hunt. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Now Mayfield. That's caught over the middle. Hooper. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That'll move the sticks for the Browns. A gain of 12. First down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Mayfield finding Beckham. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. Wide open receiver complete. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A good pick up there, a 22. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Rashard Higgins. His First and 10, Joe Burrow. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Larry Ogan Joby in for the sack. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. On second down, here's Burrow. Over the middle, complete to Tate. Push the foul, roughing the passer, defense. Oh, Maybe a frustration penalty there because he's picked them apart. They've tried their best to get to him and haven't done it successfully. A penalty as a result of that hit there. First down, here's Burrow. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another first down this time on a gain of 19. If I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 16. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. Well, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Flushed out right. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. And that was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown. the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. 
That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll make this his second and 13. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. They'll run again with Hunt. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Carl calling no gain there, and it brings forth a third and long. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Here's Jamie Gillendale as he'll kick it away for the second time. And now a high kick trying to pin him back. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. It'll go as just a 15-yard punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. So Burrow and the Bengals down by 10. A minute 50 to play. They'll need a score here and also likely an onside kick recovery. But first things first, first and 10. And here's a throw taken in by Boyd. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Everyone dialed in. Five yards. Now it's third and five. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Miles Garrett in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? But slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. So Cleveland able to come away with the victory here. And I know I'm not breaking any news when I say that any road win in this league is a good one. No doubt. But it's a double bonus when you get a victory on the road in your division. And when you start a season, each team breaks down their schedule in different ways. Some do it every four games, right? Let's go quarterly. Others say, listen, we've got to take care of our home field. And, you know, out of a 16-game season, if you get eight at home, let's at least win seven at home and split our road games. That's what you're trying to get done. So you're exactly right. A road win, precious, especially within the division.